putting together a group of projects that are made with only knit. That means gourd or stitch. A lot of people don't like to purl or they want some, to make something fast. So we have several projects already and now we're going to be making a hat and uh, I cast it on 45 stitches. I am using number 4 worsted yarn and number 9 US needles which is the same as 5.5 millimeters. And so what I did is that I knitted 17 inches from beginning to end and now we're going to sew the beginning with the end and let's do that the hat is going to have a brim that means this part here is folded and I wanted to sew just a little on one side because you know it leaves that funny looking edge that you don't want is that I am picking up that V on this side so that means from one side to the other of that pearl like stitch and then on this side I am picking up that V also and so then I come to this side and pick up, see that purl stitch, so one, from one side to the other of that purl stitch and then that V. And once I have enough, I think it's about four inches, then you can put your needle into that stitch where you came out the last time and so like that you can turn the hat and start sewing the other way. So the way I'm going to start sewing the other way, I mean from one side to the other and I pick up the next stitch and then I pick up that stitch here. You see that and then you pick up the V on the other side, see it? And then pick up that V on this side, yep, the upside down V, and pick up the V on this side, and I will see you when I finish. that seam looks you can't even tell where you sewed it so very nice so now you make a knot with the strand that you had there and you're going to start going into that edge stitch one and then skip one up to the next skip one down to the next skip one up to the next, skip one down, skip one up, skip one down, skip one up, you start tightening and I will see you, no. so skip one, down, Skip one up, skip one down, skip one up, and I'll see you in a little bit when I finish. So what I have now is that I already passed my yarn, and I am going to pull at that tail and make a knot with the other tail, kind of really give it a good tuck. And, and then what you do is that you pass these two toward the inside of the hat. Mm -hmm. 
there we go. And then weave in these ends. You weave it in. So now you can see that, let me get this off, you can see that you have a hat with a brim. You do not see the seam here and you do not see the seam on this part here because it was turned, see? That is where it changed sides. So very nice, very nice project, very easy and very nice. I will take some pictures of it and thank you for watching and share us with your friends and subscribe and like our page. I'll see you next time.